Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. following audio presentation may contain mature language, situations, and violence. Listener discretion is advised. Artifact Parthenon Shadow Group Base of Operations This will allow you to concentrate on what you have all proven yourselves be good at already, and that is helping to stabilize the master program. Let us handle this gauge. It'll be one less concern for your group, and Spoon. That's in addition to Drusilla being contained. The bishop? You have the bishop. Contained and restrained. Correct. You can let Spoon know that he doesn't need to worry about any surprises from her. We deeply hope. I think I make him nervous. You both make me nervous. Thank you for caring. You're admins. We are also the best equipped for this. And there's no question about what we'll do with it. It's been 282 years since the event of the USS Pioneer. But this could bring a resolution to our existential situation much more rapidly than you're probably believing it could. It can. We have a chance here. For the humans to take back the entire ship? No. Not the entire ship. At least I highly doubt it. That's not even a requirement to save this world. Frankly, as long as the command and control system AGI is reasonably functional, the service bots are still functioning, we can restore power to them. We're talking about opening a few barriers, service tunnels. That way, they're able to make repairs to the thermal units, environmental controls, life support systems, all of that's in the world stem section of the ship. If all of those things are true, bang, we are in business and it will happen very quickly. At least for us. <laughs> you probably noticed the world program is running at an absolute crawl right now. It is half the speed of reverse. The tick differences. Yeah. Big differences. We will need to have access now. Let me try this my way. Please, I don't think it's going to take that long. Do I want to know what your way is or his is? Proceed. Let's start like this. We know that your group has acquired access to things that we lost a long time ago. And in order to do that, you must have scored access to systems that we didn't even have available to us from the start. We know that you found Palmer, and that you have cracked into the implant. These things, we need. We know that Spoon, that, that all of you have been trying to help. This is your chance to do that in the most profound way imaginable. I don't know where Spoon is, and I don't know when he's coming back. I don't know when the rest of the group is coming back. You would also need Agent Garrick for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yes, yes. We will need Nick Garrick to be alive and well. Yes, absolutely. The implant installed in Captain Palmer needs to remain connected for communication to the systems. From in here. Otherwise, we will not need Nick Garrett any more than we would have needed Palmer's avatar as a gate for access to the systems. Because you have already found another rat. There's an avatar for Palmer? No, there would have been. We don't need it now. You found a workaround. And now you have a choice to make. 
your admins. I'm not feeling that I have much of a choice here. Ah, uh, but see, you do. See, I'm sure that there are precautions in place on all of these systems that would activate data shredders and would slow us down in acquiring what we need, hmm? See, I'm, I'm also guessing that you can remove them of your own free will and volition. We could also remove them after we wedge you. That would take time. Yes, it would, absolutely. When time is the most precious thing in existence right now. Wedging you is an option here. And then we do what we need to do. Of course, that would absolve you of any responsibility with Spoon later, if that's a concern. If there's a later. But I hope that you don't force us to go that route, because that is not the spirit that we mean to establish here with your group. There's a protocol that we follow, a code. And I would betray that code by making a decision that's not my place to make. But isn't it, though? You, sir, are talking like an apprentice, unsure of his abilities. But you did the work. I am his apprentice. You found it. I, I am presuming it is you who found it, hmm? It was you who hacked it. I assume you took the initiative because Spoon wasn't so interested. Yes? That's not wrong. Spoon but... will have conflicts that can take precious time to sort out, and it's those conflicts that you will want to consider right now in making a very important choice. Are you going to take the same initiative that you did when you cracked into the implant? The apprentice learns the rules from the master so that he knows what it means to break them when his time comes. Time comes for what? To decide what the right choice is for themselves. Oh, man. And to make the choice that the master could never make, even though it is right if we are to use these terms. All eyes are blind to something. Even a master is not immune to this. Through their students, mentors live on. As through all their other works, but the students must too be their own. Make the choice to work with us and stand by it. Or make the choice to regret that you didn't. That's manipulative language, if you didn't know. I'm very well aware. We do not have time. Make the decision. It's all you. Spoon is not here. Center city, mainland. Rural area. Yes, the Teledeath weapon. They were network. Teledeath. You are an avatar. How are you an avatar? I just... You want... I just... found out. The avatar entity code that I absorbed. I... I didn't think any of it worked. I... I could still be wedged. I noticed changes, but I thought those were just from other experiments. On yourself? Yes. There were tactile changes. We haven't much time. We have much work to do. We? Do we? Our functions are aligned with surprisingly few differences. Maybe few, but each of them substantial, don't you think? You are, for the Master Program, what I am, for the humans. Uh, that business again. Both worlds are in jeopardy. Say you're wrong about me. Why would you trust me? You'll just take my word for it? I won't have to. 
because I can read you now. The devices that shielded your entity from being read are no longer in operation. Many of your talismans, as you call them, were destroyed in the energy surge when you were teleported here, along with the others. Oh, I see. What is it you see? That we have crossed paths many more times than I believed, as well as other ambassadors. You were Dekar. That was you. And the one known as Regal. And Cyberwraith. Eee, Cyberwraith. Not one of my better handles. You can read everything all at once. There is much to read. The Druid. You were also the Druid. The first Druid, not the other charlatan who went by the same name. I don't play with mobsters. Yes, I went by several handles. I've been here for as long as you. Longer. There were times when I tried to run away from myself, and times when the admins thought me dead, and I wanted to remain that way for as long as possible. Yet you always continued. You did not stop. There were times when I hid, I assure you. Including that first time in Weird Space, which I paid dearly for. You could not stop. Because that was not in your design. Hmm, now you sound like Drusilla. And that's not a compliment. Well, Special Agent Nick Garrett. The nature of his anomaly. Fascinating. Yes, you see that as well. Fascinating. You believe Simon does not know. And yet... Griever knows that he's important in a game-changing way. He knows this as strongly and as vaguely as the bishop did when she advised him to set Garrett on the path of the infamous Mr. Cook, yes. Because she took notice to your fascination with his client connection. But if there's even the slightest chance that it means what my friends think it means, it will take a lot of time to figure it out. That may not be the case. I don't like that you can still be cryptic, and I can't. I need my instruments. From your cave, as you call it. Ah, the artifact Parthenon. Yes, and I will also need my team. They are part of my process. Ah, my jump gate talismans were destroyed. They wouldn't have been any service to you. An amendment has added conditions to calling on teleportation functions. Then how did that just happen with the tele-death weapon? It took hold only moments ago, I'm afraid. How am I to explicitly trust you? You can trust in my function. The fate of all might well hinge on it. The challenges we now face would be dire with all Ambassador entities at hand. Now, there are only two, in addition to me. <sighs> There's nothing like a common enemy to bring people together. And that enemy has made yet another move. I have clues as to where to find him, and it's coming your way. In the meanwhile, I need my talismans. Harbor View, Mainland. Camp Healy. Secure area. Sir. Sir. It's a panorama of beauty, isn't it? A hundred screens through a hundred eyes. I do wish Timothy's conjurations would stop shooting the drones out of the air. Sir. Spirited robots, those banishers. You need to look at the alerts that we've been sending you. This had better be important, right in the middle of the main events. Save me the trouble of looking at the feeds and tell me. It's about the drone, sir. It's about someone that a drone spotted on the street. A confirmed FRS hit on one of your top people of interest, Nick Garrett, the former FIS agent. Are you sure? We have drones tracking him now. 
No ID on the man with him. We have a team in their vicinity. Only blocks away. Take him out. Sir. Sir. No. Capture. With strict knowledge of this new development, this is need to know only. For that team and that team only. They'll be ordered to capture alive. It's time to find out what all the fuss is about with that man. Bring him here. Don't be foolish. He is to be taken to the only one who might be able to figure it out. As this must be a deep code matter. Have Nick Garrett taken to Van Ridge. The fuss, sir. A credible source claimed that he's in possession of some kind of power that can be taken from him. Taken. Would be for the best. For our future. You are listening to Edit Zero, FIS, the science fiction audio drama series. Starring James Keller, Julie Hoverson, Bill Rossi, Tanya Milojevic, Russell Gold, Fiona Thrail, Robert Cudmore, Chris Barnes, David Collins Rivera, Michael Hudson, Jennifer Dixon, Dane Leonardson, Owen McEwen, Sarah Golding, Bill Walsh, Stefan Rudnicki, and creator Jack Kincaid. Capital City, Mainland, near downtown. Going to run out of charge, Steve. I mean, I'm out of regular ammo. It takes a lot to bring any of them down. These flux fire entities use old systems and they have too much help. You make them sound like they came out of a video game. Uh oh. They basically did, yeah. Yeah, I caught it right after I said it. At least one of our tacticals here. Look. It's not making much of a difference. There's too many. You need a different plan here. Doom Maker, you need to switch back to the other thing. That oversized leaf blower on steroids. The fucking what? The weapon that throws him back down the street. The CK Blaster! Ah. Ah. The Vanishers are attacking everyone they see. They're firing at anything that's not them. I'm pretty sure they took out some of the zombies, too. I guess they weren't instructed on who's an enemy and who isn't. I have seen the code. The terms will be very simple. A simple interpretation from the mind of the user who spawned. And Red Force, likely. Those demons are doing the same. If that craft takes much more damage, your orbs will be grounded and stuck here too. It'll be swarmed the moment it hits the pavement. There's no use to this. We can't hold this. We run. We find cover. Marcellus, Mainland. Bureau of Emergency Oversight. Emergency Operations Command Center. OC, this is Braddock. We're taking heavy fire. We have no visual on the agents. Did you give them their locations? Yes. We sent you their Armas coordinates. You have them real time. You must extract them. We have light drones in the sky just about everywhere. Are those ours? No. No. We are not employing drones of any kind. Those are not ours. Not ours. Are they armed? Negative. They're The streets are flooded with battle bots and whatever the hell those other things are. Hundreds. There could be a thousand. Ambassadors could have terminated these things in waves, but now we only have three. The ambassadors can no longer terminate since number one was officially decommissioned and their access to functions were reduced. You see, Resnick, we have located a possible control center for the emulated clients, though there may be more than one. How? Tell me. Through Spoon, and a link up to a process that he embedded in the most recent update. Entry to the site is not advisable. We need an aerial bioscan from E2 units to corroborate before an airstrike to take it out. The package came with suggestions for non-lethal solutions to neutralize the operators, such as stasis. How would that be done without entry? What the Shadow Group did at the Embassy with teleporting wedging devices. Yes. Correct. Which utilizes a localized field rather than rays. Then we do it. You see Resnick, Director Docks data on a secure connection. Docks data what? 
This phone, take it. It's Director Doc's data. Okay. Thank you. Sir? Fort Marion, Mainland. Edict 1 Embassy. Restricted Area. I'm so very relieved that Number 1 was able to extract you in time before harm came to you. Many agents who swore to protect me as part of my protective detail were not as fortunate. Agent Griever has eclipsed all of our well-laid plans and generated a level of chaos and unrest from which there's no recovery. I'm aware of the worsening situation on the ground and quite frankly hellish situation, as well as the state of our resources. The entire world is in an uproar and people are dying. I understand that the world program is so taxed at this time from all the activity that it's in danger of crashing. We do not have a wealth of good choices. In fact, we have mostly bad ones on about every imaginable matter at this moment. We can only hope to make the best possible choices from those we have available. Are you asking me to advise you, sir? That I always expect. However, first and foremost, I wanted you to hear it from me personally about a decision that I have made. There is no other alternative than to enact the worst case scenario protocol previously discussed. The one which will, with the exception of our own assets, systematically freeze and preserve all native entities who make up most of the population. Shall I give the order? That is not required. I already have to the ambassadors. It will be included in the next reconfiguration amendment of the world program. That's all we've got. I have seen the code myself. It will protect them. And it will be our duty to protect everyone else. Artifact Parthenon. Shadow Group Base of Operations. Haha! <laughs> Spool! Where is everyone? I'll tell you if you give me the chance before you disappear You're again. You're wasting words. They went to Capital City. They left to warn Garrett's old unit that they were in immediate danger from Van Ridge's remote-controlled entities. All of them, even Prime. Everyone. Wherever they went, it's very important that it's not on Griever's radar. It's vital that Griever doesn't find out that Garrett is still alive because I may have made a colossal, ridiculous, hungus mistake during that convoluted dance that he caused a conversation. It was like dealing with Drusilla, but worse. I see what you saw in him, her reflection. I need to retrieve them. Capital City? They were supposed to be right back. Capital City. Come on! Uh, the way you can pull people through walls is pretty cool. Did Spoon ever explain how that actually works? Stop that! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Don't yell. I know that's hard for you, but the sound draws them. I learned that at Nemtex. But really, how do you do it? I don't know, I do it. Auto-magically? Raspberry ice cream! <laughs> I know that part. <laughs> I almost went through the ground there. Stop that, stop it! But how do you extend that to others by touch? Be thankful I could save us from the marching mecha thingies, and the monster thingies, and the gaggles of giggly thingies! They're all entities from the Hexscape disc. Van Ridge must have it. Or he's able to emulate it. I think... You have a pan. Where did you get a pan from this time? We passed through a kitchen during our harried journey through the buildings, you fiend. I saw it. It saw me. And while we were running for our lives, you... It was lonely. And it's hardly a proper pan at all. Stop that. Captain, you have a problem and you need to learn self-control. Stop that. Oh dear, where the devil are the others? Jimmy and Gemini. They could be anywhere now. They'll find us soon. Spoon has a tracker on us. Well, he did. What, what? He has a tracker on you, anyway. Oh, no, no. 
He tracks you too, you fiend. Not anymore. What? What have you done? What did you do? Did you delete it? Hey, a guy's entitled to a little privacy. What about me? Hmm. Not you. You're unhinged and unpredictable. And you're not. <laughs> I'm telling. Telling! Telling, 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 telling! Shh. And, uh, on the subject of privacy, we have a few drones that are interested in us. Or, their operators are. Look up. You might want to look down. We have company. Oh, dear. Special Agent Nick Garrett, we're here to bring you to safety, sir. Come with us. Oh, dear. Hurry. I caught thoughts. They're not what they seem. Wrong cars. Wrong approach. Wrong approach. And too many of them. Yep. Sorry! We have another ride! It's coming any minute! We have orders, Agent. Whose orders? Edict 3, Assistant Director Doc Stater. We're here to deliver you to safety. I'm gonna take the liberty of doubting that. I just... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is for your own protection, sir. <laughs> you need to come with us. Behold! Now. Who's this? Captain, what are you doing? <laughs> King Richard II. This comfortable cousin, knowest thou not that when the searching eye of heaven is hid behind the globe that lights the lower world, Sir, then thieves and robbers self. range abroad unseen in murders and in outrage, boldly here. Sir, but when from under this self. terrestrial ball he fires the proud torps of the eastern pines, any time now, and darts his light through every guilty hole. Who is this man? With murders, trees, a crazy person. And Can't you tell? Sins. The cloak of night being plucked from off the back, stand bare and naked. Oh, that did it. Garrett, hold your breath, we're about to go down. What's down? Us. Artifact Parthenon. Shadow Group Base of Operations. My guess is they couldn't come back because they had no means. The jump gate devices will no longer work. And I saw they didn't take any of the Hypergate talismans. What the hell happened to you? Why are you... Why are you drenched in... Blood? <laughs> yes, that's blood. Long story related to why jump gates no longer work. I need to tell you something. I need you to wait. We cracked into Palmer's implant, and the admins were here. We don't need to work on that anymore because the admins are. I shared everything with them. Everything. And I did it willingly. I made that choice. I made that call because it was the right thing to do. It was right, Spoon. And you're still here. All our machines and gear, it's all still here. Yes. Which admins? Dolos? He was one of them. Everything. You shared everything. Yes. Everything I could. Okay. Why not? What? Uh... Yes! What? Okay, why not? What? You think I did the right thing? I think you did the only thing. What? I did the same with Edict One, who will be pulling data from our machines at any time, what? if they haven't started already. We are also now directly coordinating with the Embassy. With the Ambassadors? How do you think I got here if jump gates no longer work? Question. Did you see a Hypergate field? Answer. No, you did not. I was with Number One moments ago. This is huge! But why didn't you Hypergate out and back in? My talisman was destroyed when I was nearly destroyed. When I should have been destroyed. Where are you hypergating to? It doesn't matter because I'll be hypergating right back in as I can't jump gate. I need to retrieve the others and they are in different places according to my trackers. Gem is several blocks from the captain who appears to be in solid ground. Why is he in solid ground? Ah, damn it. He must have run off again. You have a tracker on Gem? I wasn't about to lose her again. But wait, where is my tracker on Garrett? 
It's gone. Why, those bastards! Give them an inch and they take everything. Uh, what bastards are we talking about? Dolos! Ooh, you're now one of my stops. Wanted them all to yourselves, did you? Exclusive rights, is it? What's going on now? They deleted my tracker on Garrett, that's what. While you were giving, they were taking. I'll be seeing them soon. And we have very bad news from the time dilation meters. It has dropped another ten points. Stacks overfloweth. There's too much going on at once. And Van Ridge is spawning Hexgate entities through the ancient flux fire runes like popcorn! Didn't you say that anything below 20 could lead to catatonia of the whole program? Yes, and it is at 29. Now seven. Hypnos, the Sixth Island. The Administration. Huh. Yeah, we might be able to do this. Really do this after all these years. Yes. Probably. Brilliant. That's going to be that easy? <laughs> yeah, well, um, let's hope. I mean, they were well prepared for everything. Yeah, everything but what actually happened. Yeah, I mean, it, it just it took one little thing to make it happen as it did. Which would have been temporary if the Pioneer's companionship had actually come to its aid. The fate of the USS Cygnus remains a mystery to this day. <laughs> Same interstellar event, no doubt. Ah, jeez. You know, if, uh... If I have the ship lift the wrong barrier, open the wrong gate right now, we could we could lose this this whole game right here and now. And I am I am not familiar with a good chunk of what I'm seeing here. I wish Perlman would have made it. Hell, made it or had left an autonomous avatar here as well as in Immersia instead of Immersia. He knew more about this aspect than any of us. So, it will take one small thing to undo what was caused by one small thing, hmm? I mean, after the humans have been imprisoned in stasis for all of this time, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it takes no more than a single lock to make the difference between immediate freedom and eternal imprisonment. Hey, hey. We have some mini RSVs responding. The little robots? Yep. What they share in common is that they are all fully charged because they were sealed in sections with working power transfer stations and charging docks. All right. Cool. Um, hmm. All right. We won't know how well they've held up until they're set into motion to perform maintenance by commands from the AGI. But, hey. I mean, we still have a link up to all the main systems. I have control panels. We need to move this show to Bernardo One. Edict Zero is headed for a crash. At which time hope would be lost, as Nick Garrett is here. If we lose him, we lose the connection. Then we need to bring him there. Yeah, about that. He's in the wind with members of the Shadow Group right now. Then let's find him. Some of us must remain, but you must go to join Corbett and Vega in Venardo 1. You and Tobias both. That is our protocol and responsibility. Edict Zero may crash soon. Some of us must endure. We must preserve even the slightest possibility of survival for the human race. I thought the evacuation protocol was all of us must survive. Our makers could not have accounted for this situation. Therefore, protocol must be revised. All right, as soon as I wrap up... Uh, did I uh, just hear those words from you, Prior? Hold on. Uh, how did number one recommission himself? All his access has returned. That is because I have reinstated number one. What? Are you sure you want to do that? Don't ask him if he's sure. This world needs all the help it can get. Prior. Go to Venardo One now, both of you. What about Drusilla? Not yet. 
you need to help Vega and Corbett recreate the containment chamber in Venardo 1 first. Because she's a security risk. Then, then we'll send her over. Or you could terminate me. The containment chamber has that functionality. You could take a vote. We will do no such thing. Tobias, if a crash is imminent and there is time, we will join you. If we can. And if there's no warning, no time? Then you know what you must do. Follow procedure. Correct. Goodbye. For now. For now, we hope. As do we. Capital City. Uh, uh, oh my. Oh my. The creatures cleaned up this alley quite nicely. Mm. The pan. It's clear that they weren't ordered to kill you. But take you somewhere. Damn, I should have let them take me. That was a missed opportunity. I could have learned something. You said that you caught thoughts from them. What thoughts? Uh, feelings mostly. They were not friends. Well, now we can't know who sent them. They're all dead. Not all of them! Stop that! <laughs> Stop that. And you call that a stun? More of a tickle? <laughs> or have I built a tolerance to it? That was the trouble with all the fun things, you know. Knock the weapon away from him! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Now that's how stuns are supposed to work. <laughs> this one is probably on a higher setting. <gasps> to me now. I want to go next. Stun me. Maybe later. If I behave. Behavior is unavoidable. <laughs> Who are you? Who sent you? <laughs> He's not going to bloody well tell you, because he can't. As he's stunned to the point of having the twitches. And even if he could answer, he's not about to tell us the truth. But wait. Wait, wait. He won't tell us the truth with his mouth. But with his mind, he will. Captain? He's a client. Oh, yes. I'll have a dip in this one. Ah. What he does not say, I will see. Set for two minutes. As soon as I'm wedged, to ask him all the same questions that you did before. What questions did I ask again? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, question number one. Who sent you? Hypnos, the Sixth Island. The administration. Priam. Priam. Yes, Drusilla. Priam, did you honestly believe I wouldn't ask what that was about? Protocol revised, with evacuation, and the ambassador program? It was perhaps not enough to tell you that it is never too late to change. Only at the brink of destruction? How human of you. Eh, not for nothing if a history passed on to us has any truth to it. That may not be human quality even then. There are better times to change, but never a wrong time. We must, sometimes, learn lessons. Teaching by example from the Buddha of Hypnos himself. Oh, a lesson is it? A rather dangerous one if you're wrong, dear. I am prepared to be wrong about number one. But I do not believe that I am. I choose to trust him. How oh, would you look at that? Speak of the devil. And the ambassador arrives. <laughs> now you'll have an opportunity to expound on that trust you spoke of, Brian. We were not expecting any more guests. Continue working, Dolos. Neat. He comes in black. That's new. I thought you wore a green suit, number one. I do not. I am number 11. 
Why have you come? You have triggered a security protocol by enacting communication with the command and control system of the Pioneer that we did not know was in place until this action was taken. You have access to those systems? Only to the extent that we can detect unauthorized access and trace its world origin. The protocol defines this as a violation to be corrected by any means, even the harshest possible. Hmm. How do you intend to do that? Is that what you have come to do? I presume that you inherited this apparatus from our shared ally, the Shadow Group. Shared ally. We did. Uh -huh. Why are you with us and not number one? His greater breadth of ability is required in the field. I am less of a service there, but not here. The data provided to number one in these alerts will be useful to help reach your objectives in the most expeditious manner possible. He passed this data along to me, as well as a message of his kind regards for the violation of your protocols. You will require my assistance. Capital City, Mainland. Near downtown. Beasties incoming! Jimmy! That one ran right past us. Keep an eye on it! It's coming back with friends! How, how do I use this damn thing? Don't! Shoot! But don't hit anyone unless you want them to go flying! Right. Jimmy? Taking worse tumbles We need cover now. No creature should have that many teeth. I've seen banishers before, but not those. Those are the other monsters running around Jamestown that I never saw with my own eyes. I saw them. At Nemtex. I saw what it did to one of the conspiracies. Gretchen. I've been trying to forget. We go in there. It's locked. Stand back and... Uh, no anymore. Except now we can't lock we it. We can barricade it, grab tables, hey, anything you can find. No! We're closed. What the hell? Uh, ah! ah! Okay. Okay, hands are up, hands are up. I'm sticking them up, I'm sticking them up. Whoa, okay, I'm sticking them up. We're oh. federal agents. Not all of us. Is there something going on here? Obviously, yes. If you turn the music down, you would hear what's going on outside. Are you the owner? I'm just a bartender. I was cleaning up and listening to some tunes. I closed up early, as we didn't have any customers tonight. You don't say! There's a good reason for that. I really wonder why that is. There's several hundred good reasons. Go to the safest place that you can find in the building. An interior room, or the basement, or both. Do not go outside. What's outside? Nightmares! Incredible danger that will kill you. Oh, Please, okay. just turn okay. down the music and do what I said to protect yourself and anyone else who might be okay. here. I won't. I repeat, okay. uh, do not I'll go outside. And he didn't turn down the music. I hope he's not running straight for the back door. I really I hope. think he went downstairs. Gemini, explain something to me. Why are you and Doommaker here in the middle of all this? If our jump gate talismans hadn't stopped working, we wouldn't be. Jump gate? You mean your teleport devices? They stopped working because an amendment to the master program disabled them. How did you know how to identify them? Not just your devices, all devices. 
Van Ridge created a weapon that annihilates people and uses teleportation to do it. I've seen firsthand what that can do. They killed several ambassadors with it. Several? There's only three left, including number one. Wait a minute. Where's the captain? He's not with you? He was with us. So was Agent Garrett. We were separated in the chaos. Garrett is here? In the city? Blocks away. Hmm. Interesting. You're absolutely certain that's what you saw? Yes. As sure as I saw the elephant in your shared dream with Palmer. For it seems the stun effect not only weakens the body, but mind. Unless his mind was weak to start. He was to take you to the place where Van Ridge is. I saw it. And I saw the coordinates. At least I think they're coordinates. Help me drag him off to the side. Why? Because he's helpless while he's stunned. We might be leaving him to die if he's out in the open. We allowed the others to die, did we not? Different context, and that's on you. I was saving our lives, you fiend. And he won't stay stunned forever, no, no. What do you think is going to happen when he's on his feet again? Now it will take longer, come on! We need to find a radio, or find a military or an agent that's on our side. As if that will be so simple to discern, you fool. Have you taken nothing from this latest lesson? Come on! I... <laughs> Garrett is the reason we're here. He insisted we come. We saw that you were in trouble with the dead. The walking dead ones that Van Ridge has people controlling from somewhere. They're emulated clients. The captain can jump into them too. How the hell do you know that? Because I watched him do it right after he jumped into me before the car crashed. I haven't exactly had time to tell you about it. Doommaker. You That's said an that... old name now. Call me Jimmy. What did you mean by you saw we were in trouble? A tracker. A tracker that Spoon put on him. Or on his chip. He hacked into our Armos? No, he emulated it after scanning his chip. When did he do that? It must have been when they had us at gunpoint with Van Ridge. No, not then. Probably after he encountered Zern at the embassy. It wasn't at the embassy. It must have been at the Stephanie Wharf. That does not matter right now, and you should both know that the embassy considers you allies now. Says you. We're in this together. Oh, yeah. That's the position of the embassy now. <laughs> From the lips of an ambassador. Right. By allies, you mean pawns, right? We will need to work together right now. Friends for now when the trouble is at high tide. But then after that, we become the trouble. Is that a question or a warning, Doom Maker? It sounds like you've already decided. The needle on my ball bag bogometer is rising. Who's this one again? That's Briggs. Agent Briggs. Agent. Of course. You couldn't leave the authority bit out. It's how we're supposed to identify ourselves. He has an irrational trigger when it comes to federal agents. <laughs> yeah. Keeps it well hidden. I have all kinds of triggers. And they're connected to loaded guns. Is that how you solve problems? Aye. Sometimes. He's blowing off steam. Arguing isn't solving anything right now. And there are people dying outside. You saw what's out there. An army of killer robots and a horde of demon things from that fucking Hexgate artifact. In here, you're a fuck all help, no. Out there, you'll be a fuck all help either. Because you'll be fucking dead. You can go if you want. I won't stop you. So, tell me, Feds, how's it going to be later with us? How about we worry about right now, and worry about later, later? For how long before you detain us? Will you please get over yourself? <laughs> Why should I believe a single word that comes from any of your mouths? Because Spoon wouldn't have made it back to you with Gemini if I hadn't let him go. What the hell did you just say? Made it back from where? 
during your rescue. I caught him. I could have wedged him, but I let him go. Because of what Dolos told it us? It doesn't matter. We're on the same side. You never stop being full of surprises, Zern. It was for the greater good. I'm gonna call UC Resnick. I would call Agent Stowe if you're going to call anyone. Cora is running the Operations Command Center. We know they have our coordinates through Armas. Gage might have ours too if Spoon put a tracker on us, Jimmy. We know that he's got trackers on Gara and the Captain. Not that Gage can do a bloody thing about it. Spoon will appear here before long when we're not expecting it. Then he'll take us back to base. How's he gonna appear if he can't teleport? There are other ways. Jimmy! If he hypergate us out, he might not hypergate us back in. Eh? Hmm? Hypergate? He might leave us there. To die? Excuse me, where's there exactly? Other simulations on the network? Small simulations built by different admins on different machines. You give that up in front of the feds. I can't believe you gave that up. Just like that. And no, he would not leave us there to die, Jimmy. He would leave us there to live. If Edict Zero crashes. Or at least some part of us would live. Hypergating sounds dangerous. It's not. We do it all the time. You think Spoon is just gonna jump to the sidelines while the world ends? Not him. He would go back. But he wouldn't do that to us. He wouldn't leave us. As much as it might be infuriating to him, I know him. He would. To protect us. You'll know by which sandbox he chooses. If it's one of the nice ones like Pullman 9, you'll know. The admins believe that he's a special purpose entity of the Master Program. That he's a troubleshooter task. That's why he would come back. And that's why I let him go, for the record. I think Spoon is the only one who doesn't believe that now. If he did try it, because of the tech differences, he wouldn't be able to close the hypergate as fast as he would like. Sounds to me like we don't need to be technical analysts or hackers to communicate with the master program. We just need to talk to Spoon. Dolo said that we are all interfaces. And Spoon is a high access interface. One that wouldn't approve of this talk. So you'd best not take that angle with him in conversation. Like he's some avatar of Edict Zero itself that has no choice about it. He will Corbin out. Choice? Maybe... Maybe what? Hmm? Maybe because he feels that the things that he does would be taken for granted. That they wouldn't be appreciated. That he wouldn't be appreciated. And when Spoon does come back from wherever the hell he is, he had better retrieve Garrett first. If this world is to have any chance. Huh? For the sake of the world, he had better be alive. Huh? What does that mean? There's something you should all know about Nick Garrett if you don't already. Artifact Parthenon. Shadow Group Base of Operations. Why don't you remote retrieve the captain? Other than our teleportation device is not working. I told you, he's clearly jumped ship on us. If you have some magics to make jump gates start working again and want to try to retrieve him, you saw how it's done. But it's clear that he must have run off. That makes him not our problem. I need to get the others to safety. They appear to be at a, a pub? At a time like this, we don't, we don't have to guess whose idea that was. Barman, he's a pint of that real ale. I've got time to waste, maybe a game of pool. Except we don't, of course. And with no vetted teleport destinations anywhere near it. Gauge, dungeon down all prepared modules. I will be back. What are you going to do with the gravity field changer? What else? Be creative! Capital City, Mainland. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, God! 
is what now? I am here to help. Move out of the way. Who the hell are you? I'm an alien. It's the day the mainland stood still. What's your name? No, just kidding. Don't care. Move out of the way. Now. Ceiling. Ceiling. Or should I say Skydome? Because that's where you're going. And demon pooches. Skydome. Skydome. Uh -uh. Not you. I told you to stay out of the way. Clear out of the way now. This is for them. You're allowed to be grouchy, hell puppies, but all the same, I'm here to lift you up in a positive way. On the Z vector. Call it North Island cordiality, and do be polite to any birdies you may meet along the way. Marcellus, Mainland. Bureau of Emergency Oversight. Emergency Operations Command Center. Falling into the sky? How does one fall into the sky? You see, rest. We are 30 minutes from the next update. To the world program? Correct. All native entities will be suspended, except those in our service. Or who should be in our service. But what about Simon Griever? There are exceptions, such as those who are also global object variables, not Simon. Timothy Van Ridge, however, yes. That would take care of one big problem we have. Hello, 1081, 1081. No, wait, that's not right. I'm rusty at this. Voice. 1018. That voice. All units, pay attention. That voice. Who's cutting in on this frequency? Identify. This is FIS Special Agent Nick Garrett. I repeat, this is FIS Special Agent Nick Garrett. What the hell? This is urgent. Nick? Act now. Call out all available units. If you want to find Van Rigg, send Nick? all available resources to the following coordinates right now. The coordinates are... Give me the radio now. Oh, now! Mainland State Highway. Do you copy? This is TU3 Braddock. I copy Nick. It's you. It's really you. You're alive. For real. Ah, that word again. Real. That depends on how we define that. It's definitely you. Where the hell are you? In the middle of a war zone, main highway. The radio I'm using is in a vehicle that was in the motorcade. OZTU-3 is now dedicated to retrieving S.A. Garrett. We are in proximity. Good. 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 We need to have Garrett in our custody. Yes, he's resting. Much more than you know. It is required. Nick, you still with us? No more or less than I ever was, Commander. <laughs> Definitely you. <laughs> Harbor View, Mainland. Camp Healy. Garrett, careful of your 20 because that wave of annihilation that swept through can just as easily come back. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Restrict our future communications to the Carterwood frequency, okay? I'm coming to get you. And when I get there, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh dear. <laughs> you see, he doesn't like you either. Like I don't like you. Ah, but we know what that really means, don't we? No, 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 no! Stop that! <sighs> and the Carterwood frequency, what is this? Oh, that's basically the channel that we argue on. It's an old classic. We can say all the cool words there. The bad ones. <laughs> So, Agent Rupert Cantera was the person who came before him on the same client connection. But Garrett was never really him? Yes, he had memories of the previous clients on that connection because the implant had memories. Oh, yeah, this is a new thing to wrap my head around, but that's why they had so much in common. They had the same connection. Literally. Gemini is saying that it's not the connection that did that, but the implant, which is what connects Garrett to Palmer. It's as if they had a shared subconscious. 
Like having the same soul when it comes down to it. It was designed for an avatar entity like the admins, but that didn't happen. Everyone thought that the captain of the ship died, and the possibility that the implant provided was gone with him. But he didn't die. He made it to a stasis chamber for passengers. Gage found a back way into the implant, because everything is interconnected. He cracked into it. It wasn't Spoon who did it? Spoon... No. It was not Spoon. Speaking of Spoon, do you hear that? Even I know those sounds. He's outside. He came for you. Everyone, stand back from the entrance, please. Back up. Spoon! At the pub at a time like this. Oh, well, you know, fair enough. Why not? Oh, barman. Go and he a wee shot of that lag of villain for behind the bar. Because I've got time to waste. Except we don't. Did you find Agent Garrett and the captain? Garrett's not with you. We got separated from them. The admins must have him, those rotten bastards. Hypergate time. My god. Every day is just farther down the rabbit hole. Every day. This is our lives. It looks like a wormhole. Do you like the aesthetic? Bulletin, the world is tanking, jump gates are out, hypergates are in, we hypergate out and then hypergate back in to base. Oh, your choice of destination for the embassy agents. You are also welcome, as we are working with the ambassadors now. Hang on. Spin. It's true. We told you. You have ten seconds, edict zero time to make the jump to hyperspace before this gate closes. No time for arguments. Jimmy. Remember what I said! Come on! You heard him! What the hell? Let's go, Jules. Outside Edict Zero. Pearlman Sanctuary 4. in the lobby of a hotel. Uh, um, a simulation of one. We've always been in a simulation, so let's just call it a hotel. Right. See, Jem? It's not Perlman 9. No, it's better. It's the Rosewood. <sighs> Thank you all for making the journey. Now I open the return gate. Ta-da! But, oh, uh, I do apologize that there will be a slight change. <laughs> Honey, no. What are we doing now? Unless you want to be stuck here forever, you're running into the vortex. We're back in. Where are we now? I don't know. This isn't your base? This isn't the place that you've been operating from? You don't know where we are either? Uh, no. Uh, no. Spoon. Spoon. Don't go reaching for anything. You TK blasted me. Are you insane? Do you have any idea how dangerous that was? You had no idea where you would have ended up. I can go lots of places where you can't. You could have killed everyone. Don't. I said no reaching. I can't believe you did that! I can't uh, believe you were after leaving us there in Perlman. Can we not harm him, please? Harm him? I might be fucking killing him. That's gotten a lot harder since you last. This week. isn't a good time for this spat. We weren't wrong about the group devolving a bit. We're a yeah. family. I know it's hard to tell. Most families are dysfunctional. Tell me about it. Yeah. Do my. Jimmy. Jimmy, please stop. I agree with Gemini. You were going to do it. Can we not do Leave this? Leave us there. You were going to make a decision for us. If you do that, then I have to wonder what else you'd do. You should not be here. None of you should. Even I shouldn't be here. I disagree. You are all welcome. Who's this? You are all welcome, so long as there is no pointing of weapons. 
We prefer peace here. Weapons wouldn't do you much good. He is an admin. The king of the admins, no less. I am not a king, but I do insist upon peace in this place. Is he the one you guys met? No, he's not. We have yet to be acquainted. Okay. That's the admin we met, Dolus. Spoon, are you going to be trouble? I was about to ask you the same. Hmm. It's nice to meet you again, Agent Zern, Agent Kircher. I already know Spoon, of course. Okay, that is Gemini. The sneery one is Jimmy Prime, at least by legend. No gauge, though. Why no gauge? I told you that I make him nervous. You met Gage? I don't like any of this. And the other embassy agent is... The guy who's been left out of a lot of the social loops here. I'm Briggs. Not Agent Briggs this time, eh? You don't let things go easy, do you? In the presence of greater authority, he leaves out the agent. See that? See how that works? This is Priam, the lead admin. Who is not a king. May I ask why you have all come? We didn't know where we were going, honestly. This is a surprise meeting to us as well. We followed Spoon. We must be on the sixth island. Island, <laughs> or isle, is a misnomer as we have the ocean to one side only, where the ocean ends. However, yes, you are in Hypnos. We are also cooperating with the admins. They found our lair and Troglobite turned over everything. So, everybody has lost their damn minds. They also deleted the tracker I had on Nick Garrett on their way out. We what? Um, no. No, that, that wasn't us. Who else could have done it? No one else had access at that time. You wanted him all to yourself, right? Maybe they have him. Of course they have him. Is Agent Garrett here? We would like him, yes, absolutely. Do we have him? No. Spoon, you did not have any tracker on him. That we would have found. What's happening here? I'm tired of asking that question. What's happening? Welcome to the club. They're on the job of trying to access the systems of the Pioneer using the authorization of Captain Palmer's implant. Would you like to see? Please join us in our control center. <clears throat> Priam, that might not be the best of ideas considering, um. Hmm? Drusilla? What about Drusilla? She's here. Yes until she can be evacuated safely to Venardo 1. If she returned to you and you accepted her back into your ranks, her safety is the last thing you need to worry about. Accepted her back into our ranks? <laughs> yeah, uh, no. We currently have her in a containment chamber. That we have Drusilla is all the more reason why all of you should follow us. Spoon especially. Please? Capital City. Secret underground area. Code name, Counter Horizon. The devices which rid us of ambassadors and the one called Spoon are no longer in operation. Uh, teleportation? I did warn you of this possibility. If they no longer work, then our jump gate devices no longer work. I am Ban I am Banisher! Yeah, we know. These guys don't say a whole lot, do they? They are primitive entities from an ancient version of the Master Program. But they would all disappear if something happened to you, huh? They would. What about when we jump simulations through that gate of yours? They may deactivate when we jump simulations. To Emersia, did you call it? That may be its name. 
It was in the code of the gate that I reconstructed. The gate that I based... Oh. New Cairo. What? Uh, nothing. But don't worry. If the Banishers and other creatures disappear while we are in Immersia, I can spawn legions of them back with the Hexgate disc upon our return to do my bidding. Our bidding, don't you mean? Yes. Our. Our bidding. <laughs> the user of the device. You have more than adequately explained how the technology that you have provided to the cause operates. For which you will be rewarded. Yes. You have all that you need. Yes. We do. We have to evacuate now. The team sent to acquire that Agent Garrett failed. And somebody gave up our position to the edicts. Our exact position. No, but close enough. The nearest access point to the underground where we were going to link up to receive him. It's only a matter of time before they find us once they start scanning the tunnels. Wait, we can't do the teleport thing now. Then we need to destroy this trans simulation gate thing and bolt the back. Oh, no, you fools! We will need it soon! The code update that threatens us is only minutes away! Code update? The code that will paralyze all native entities. It is not unlike the code which will preserve our entities while we are in that other simulation. Or reconstructions of us are there, I should say. <laughs> On the other side of the gate. Yes, that's how it works. But we cannot stay there for long. The probes and the subjects that we sent there reported hostile conditions. Which subjects? Ah, one of them. He's right. It's dark and cold there. There's some kind of city there. Or the remains of one. It's like post-apocalyptic and weird. Weird as hell. How weird are we talking? It's gonna make your head hurt. As pieces of what must have been buildings levitating in the air in the middle of a dust storm from hell. That's what the goggles and masks are for. There is likely nothing else there. An abandoned simulation. I swear something must be there. I heard something strange in the background. You'll only need to be there for moments before re-entering. So how about you dispel these banishers with us here? No. I may need them shortly. They will be gone soon enough. I am banisher. It's that time. <laughs> yes. Quickly. I am banisher. What time? Hey. Thanks for all the gizmos. <laughs> End it! Why didn't he go down? Oh. Standing for targets. It all went right through him. It's a trick I learned from a good teacher. Displace it. User enemy combatants. <laughs> User. <laughs> Terminate target. <laughs> Standing for targets. I did say that I might need them to protect me from you. Targets. <laughs> I am Vanisher. Vanisher, standing for targets. Thank you for listening to this episode of Edict Zero FIS. Music and ambience heard on the show come from Nine Inch Nails, Damiano Galdoni, Misha Dioxin, Adrian von Ziegler. Kevin McLeod, Kai Engel, Without Warning, How to Destroy Angels, Machinimasound.com, ERH, Jason Shaw, Craig Jacks, and Salatus. Other music and sound effects come from public domain show producer and Slipgate 9 studio resources, as well as material released freely on the internet through such venues as the Internet Archive. For more information on Edict Zero FIS, visit its home at edictzero.com. Thank you for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.